What's up WP Venture crew? In today's video, we're gonna jump into a quick overview of the WP Engine managed WordPress hosting platform. You wanna see inside what it looks like? Stick around. All right, so as mentioned in today's video, we wanna jump into just a quick overview of the WP Engine Managed Word WordPress hosting platform. Now, in full disclosure, uh, we run an agency called Bandicoot Marketing and we do use WP Engine as our hosting partner. So we are fond of them. However, there are pros and cons to the platform and they're not the best in every single area, but in a lot of the areas, we truly feel like they're an amazing partner for our agency. So I wanted to just run through for some of you that may be just curious or interested in what the WP Engine platform looks like, what are some of the main features that are included. In a few weeks, we're gonna do a very in-depth um, overview and analysis of the WP Engine platform, compare it to the other hosts, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But for today, I just wanted to answer the question that is in the title of the video, and that's, is the extra money worth it for the WP Engine platform? WP Engine hosting tends to be just slightly more expensive than some of the other managed WordPress hosts that are out there on the market. In my opinion, it's well worth the extra money but you can make that decision for yourself. So what I wanna to do today is I just wanna run through a, just a top-down overview. I'm gonna show you inside of our account what it looks like, what customer service looks like, what some of the pros and cons are of the platform, and we'll just run down through just a quick overview of the platform in general. So that if you were curious and you didn't wanna you know, start your own 60-day uh, trial or something, or you wanted more information before you tried that, then you could certainly just watch this video and make a decision for yourself on whether you think it might be good for you or your agency, whether you you're building a site just for yourself or you're an agency uh, and you're building sites for clients. So to jump right in here, um, you can see here that I'm on the page that kind of talks about WP Engine site speed. The reason I went here first is just because overall in the platform, the, it, the increased site speed from WP Engine hosting is in my opinion, one of the biggest advantages to doing it. Um, they have a whole page here with lots of information on uh, how they compare to other kind of, I would say higher tier uh, web hosts like Pantheon and Liquid, Liquid Web, Kinsta, SiteGround, and then automatic directly on wordpress.com. So they have a lot of information here uh, about site speed and how it can help increase the this um, speed of your websites. Here's what I can say, and this is why I wanted to focus on this, I think as, as a pretty important thing for the platform. We have, uh, even most recently, uh, we have we migrate clients onto our care plan. So as, an, as a WordPress agency, we offer care plans at Bandicoot Marketing where we allow clients to migrate their websites onto our platform uh, and then move, move off of other hosts. We recently migrated a website off of uh, GoDaddy web hosting and onto our WP Engine servers. And just from the migration, so the site just carbon copied the way it was, just from the migration, um, we saw a GT metric score go from a B to an A, and we saw their mobile and desktop page speed, Google page speed insights scores go up by at least 10 to 15 points each just from moving to the WP Engine servers. So site speed is number one. It's an advantage to the WP Engine hosting platform that I think is really important uh, to go through and just point out that um, if you're talking about, hey, is WP Engine worth it from a cost perspective? Um, if, especially if you run an agency and you're running client, client sites on, uh, on care plans and things like that, my, my, the answer to that question, if you ask me, is definitely yes. Um, seeing uh, as, as much as Google is paying attention to site speed these days, if you're able to migrate a client site over to your servers on, on WP Engine and uh, your account in WP Engine as an agency, and you're seeing a substantial site speed increase just by doing that, uh, then in my opinion, um, that's well worth it almost just for the price increase and the price difference there in what you're talking about. And we will go over pricing towards the end. Um, but the first thing I wanted to mention about the platform is we see a substantial site speed increase for almost all the websites that we migrate from other hosts onto the platform, okay? So um, the other thing uh, that I wanted to do for this video is I wanted to jump in and just show you inside of our account. So some of you might be wondering, hey, for this extra kind of premium price for WP Engine hosting, what does it look like inside the account? 
So I'm logged into our agency account here and you can see some of the things are blurred out here, but I wanted to allow you to see kind of what the inside of a premium WP Engine hosting account looks like. Now keep in mind, our account here, while it looks a lot like your basic shared hosting plans, we do have a premium tier uh, WP Engine account here. So there are some things that are a little bit different than the basic shared hosting account. But on the whole, this is gonna look very similar to what you would see if you were to use uh, WP Engine for your own hosting, again, either for your clients or for just your own one single website. We've worked with clients who um, wanna have their own separate hosting and we have them in just their own hosting with their one account. And then we've worked with clients where um, we also uh, have, their, you know, have their site just on our own servers. So one of the first things I wanted to show you here is just inside the account, you can see here's all of our different sites that we have hosted inside um, this one server that we have with WP Engine. We can group the sites all in different uh, different groups inside here. So we have all of our sites hosted, uh, I'm sorry, grouped into different groups. Um, on the dashboard here, you kind of have, you look at all your sites and you have an idea of what kind of storage each site is taking up, what kind of bandwidth it's taking up, how many visits uh, came to it, and then Smart Plugin Manager, which we'll talk about, we'll go through in a second as another feature on the platform. So with each site, um, you can have multiple environments. So let's go ahead and click into um, one of our sites here. And we can see that with this site in particular that we're looking at, uh, there are three environments that are included with every single WordPress site inside WP Engine. Okay, number one is a production environment. So you can have your production website running. Number two is a staging environment, which is very important for making changes, plugin updates, all that kind of stuff to your website. And then number three is a development environment. So this has become very handy uh, for us as we work on client websites with agency work is what we can do is we can have the client's production website live on this production environment. And then we can also have a staging environment available where we can do plugin updates, we can test things out and not deal or mess with the production environment at all. And then we also can um, have a, devel a development environment. What we use the development environment for often is we'll take the client's old WordPress website if we redesign their website and we will migrate it over to the development environment and just leave it there. That way we always have a record of their old website, which if you run an agency, you know that often comes up is you launch a new website for a client. The question becomes, what do we do with the old one? And I did lots of work on the old one. I don't wanna lose it. Well, this is a great, um, use case for that development environment is having it set up to where you can migrate the client's old website into that development environment and then keep it there permanently as long as you have the storage space on your, on your server. So keeping, uh, keeping things moving here, just kind of going along through this, uh, you have all the different domains that you can set up here. So um, your multiple domains get set up um, across the network here for WP Engine. Uh, a CDN is built into the network that you can use. We don't use the CDN through WP Engine, but you can definitely um, use the uh, Mac CDN. Uh, there's redirect rules where you can set how the domains redirect to each other. Uh, backups is another big feature. So automatic backups happen in WP Engine. And you can see here, here's a whole list of when the backups happen. It's a super quick, easy uh, one-click restore. So if you just, if I wanted to back up to this most recent checkpoint here, I can just keep that selected and hit create backup. And it's gonna let me go ahead and back that up and um, restore that backup uh, with the database just with one click there. So I can create a, a production backup there. The restore process is through this button right here. I just hit restore and I can choose to go ahead and back that up. And it usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds for a small WordPress website to restore itself back. So we use this for all kinds of things um, to restore back. If we identify an issue on a client website, we can restore it right back. You can also download um, zips and you can uh, download a whole entire zip file on the entire site easily. Access logs is gonna show you what's happened on the server and you can see all the different logs and what's gone on. All the other different error logs, uh, you can. there's an SFTP uh, area here. It's very easy to create SFTP access to the server where you can uh, do that and you can access the files on your server. Git push allows you to hook up your WP Engine site to GitHub and be able to push directly from GitHub in there. SSL, a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate comes with every single WP Engine website, so you can go ahead and do that. Utilities um, is easy here for adding file permissions. You can set up multi-site on any one of these websites. Um, you can set up your caching rules here and clear your cache. Migrating, uh, your site is for migrating in and lots of other kind of cool things. Web rules lets you access your um, edit and access your HD access files. Um, XML, RPC, all those different things can be accessed here as well. So that's a quick look inside one site here. You also have a, a really cool handy link here inside WP Engine where you can go right to the WP admin 
um, using SSO so that you don't have to save WP Engine or sorry, WP Admin logins, which is a really awesome feature. Our team actually goes in and logs into WP Engine and then goes in and accesses the site that way so that it cuts down on the number of uh, logins that we have to save and thus have available for security reasons um, on each site. You can also quickly get to PHP My Admin in case you need to make direct database changes on any of the sites in your plan. So that's a quick overview of what your main site table looks like as well as each of the individual sites there. Uh, as I go through the left menu here, just kind of continuing to show you what's here. Um, Flywheel Growth Suite is another really cool thing. So WP Engine acquired Flywheel, and in a couple weeks, we're also gonna be doing a whole Flywheel review as well of that hosting platform. But basically, WP Engine applier, uh, uh, acquired Flywheel, and Flywheel is really focused on the agencies to where they're releasing this Growth Suite platform that allows you to bill your clients and also host all your clients in that Growth Suite platform. <clears throat> and it allows you to have kind of branded showcase um, of all of your different client reports, what plugins are getting updated. It's really cool if you're running care plans on your agency. So this is now um, pretty soon gonna be able to be accessed directly through the WP Engine platform as well, which is great. Um, easy users here, I won't spend time to really dive into this, but you can add account users very easily. So you can add all these different users, give your clients access just to their site if you're hosting websites, which is great. Uh, tools is there's a lot of good things in here. So another plus to the to the WP Engine platform is that um, the whole StudioPress suite of tools and also Genesis uh, comes along with your account here. Okay, so Genesis, uh, the Genesis suite of plugins um, is uh, is uh, uh, comes along with. Um, and themes comes along with this whole thing as well as StudioPress. So WP Engine has been acquiring a lot of different things, including StudioPress and Genesis. So all of that is included here as well. Um, we don't personally utilize this ecosystem a lot, but if you did, this is an amazing plus and a feature that comes along with it, um, uh, along with the platform. Local is another uh, great feature that allows you to easily download a, uh, a Mac app on your Mac device and hook up directly to local so that you can do all these things that you see here in this list. Simple installation, and then as you're working on a local WordPress website, you can keep it synced easily with uh, the site that's on WP Engine here. Global Edge Security is a, an additional high, more higher end premium global security uh, product that allows you to kind of minimate, mitigate DDoS attacks, um, allows for some additional security layers that happen on your account. Page performance, they're actually deprecating, but the page performance um, allows you to run performance tests in there. Smart Plugin Manager is a really cool tool here. What Smart Plugin, uh, or SPM for short, Smart Plugin Manager allows you to be able to actually auto update your plugins. So what this feature is gonna do is it's going to look for a pl WordPress um, plugin updates on your WordPress theme, on your WordPress websites. It's going to find those plugin updates, do an update, do a regression testing, which what that means is it's going to look at your website and check all the pages and see if anything has changed visually. And then if it's if it identifies any major changes in the site, it's going to revert the site back to, to the way it was before the plugins were updated. So you can order SPM licenses on every single install on your site. So you can do it on a per install basis. We actually update our plugins using a different uh, platform for the plugin updates. So we don't use SPM, but if you, um, if you want to just have a quick way to update all your plugins automatically, this is great. And just to note as well, WP Engine also automatically updates core for you. So WordPress core will automatically update as well on a regular basis. Um, and, and they will email you if anything goes wrong. So if they try to update core and they see any fatal errors happen or anything like that, you'll get an email from WP Engine saying, hey, we tried to update core and it didn't work. So we reverted back to the backup we took before we did that. Uh, Genesis Pro is of course that Genesis ecosystem. Uh, you can sign up for Genesis Pro, which is paid. Um, and then under billing, there's only one thing I wanted to show here. And uh, this is the plan usage section. So we've blurred out some of the numbers here, but it's pretty cool to see that um, you can actually get an idea of how much storage you're using on your entire server. You can also get an idea of um, how many visits um, on a per site basis and uh, visitors have come to your um, to your different uh, sites over the billing period. So you can get an idea there of all of the different ways um, that you're using your plan and your server and all that kind of stuff, which is great. Um, so that's a kind of an overview of what it looks like inside a, a WP Engine hosting account which is pretty cool. A couple other things to mention, um, migrating a site in is super easy. There's a free plugin you can download, you install on the site, you wanna migrate in and you can migrate it right into the platform. 
The last thing I wanted to mention uh, before we just talk about some WP Engine news and pricing to, to finish out is that the customer support I would say is the second biggest thing. So site speed is one. There's other premium features that I've just gone through in the overview as two, but number three, I would say, or the second biggest thing um, that sets WP Engine apart is their support. So WP Engine has support um, because we're on a premium tier uh, server. Our WP Engine support is a little bit higher level than some of the shared hosting plans. But you can see here, there's this little support bubble down in the right, um, down in the right section here, and you bubble that up, and you can just literally type in agent, and it will go um, right to uh, your agent. You put in your support pin, and it will go right to your uh, WP Engine support agent. I have always found the customer support with WP Engine to be outstanding like a step above the rest we always get really high quality help they've been willing to kind of troubleshoot some issues on sites with me before which is really good and i, I feel like a step above the rest um and we also because we're on a premium plan we actually have a dedicated phone number that allows us to call and get phone support if we need to as well that's only going to come on the really uh premium kind of dedicated hosting plans but even with shared hosting with your access to chat the chat representatives in my experience that you have access to um, are top notch they really know what they're doing they know their platform very well even very sophisticated kind of like we only we know a lot about wordpress and hosting and so we only end up usually reaching out to them if we have a complicated issue and they're they're um they're very they're always willing to help and they're very um very high quality representatives that are giving you high quality help with your support. So customer support is another huge reason that I would say yes, it's worth the extra money to uh, go with WP Engine as your hosting. The final thing I wanted to talk about um, is pricing, or the final two things we'll talk about. Um, so on the pricing front, you can see here, I just wanted to go through this, their managed WordPress hosting plan here. Um, this is actually, if you use the link below, so wpventure.com slash WP Engine, there's an additional discount over the standard pricing that you're gonna see. Um, and so that's gonna give you a 90, $90 off your first year, and uh, that's three months free. So if you pay annually, you get $90 off. You get an annual discount and there's a coupon applied if you use the link that's down below the description in the video. That also helps us out as a channel and supports our channel to be able to, to continue to, to release high quality content like you're seeing today. Uh, but basically you can see here for one site, they're gonna be about $23 a month, 25,000 visits, 10 gigabytes of storage, and 50 gigabytes of bandwidth, okay? So that's all good stats. $23 a month for one site might seem expensive for some of you who are used to some of the other WordPress hosts that are out there. But again, um, if you're running any sort of serious business, if you're running a high quality site, if you're running a site that has traffic, you need good customer support, you're doing anything other than really a basic kind of like site that you don't, and you don't care that much about, then I would say absolutely WP Engine is worth the extra money at $23 a month for this for the one site. If you go to this pricing page you're, and you scroll down, you're gonna be able to see all the different features compared to each other. So they're gonna have a managed uh, startup plan, which is this one site plan, a professional plan at three sites, growth plan at 10 sites, scale plan at 30 sites, and then manage WordPress at custom 30 plus. So we started out with startup as an agency and we've just grown through their pricing plans all the way to their dedicated tier plans. But you can compare all the features of a WP Engine hosting plan really easily right here in this chart. So I won't go through all of those, but you can see here there's lots of things that are jam packed into these plans um, that again, I would say make um, make WP Engine worth it um, as far as what you know what they're charging and you know what you get for this $23 a month and all that kind of stuff. And if you play with these sliders, you can see here if you change it to professional, you're gonna go to $44 a month with the discounts at three sites, okay? So you just use the link below, you can um, get that price. The cool thing is there's no free trial necessarily, but if you sign up for the plan and use the link below, you're gonna get 60 day money back guarantee. So all you have to do is use the link below, sign up for your plan. You do pay for your plan, whether annually or monthly, but then you have 60 days to go ahead and see if you like it. You can try out the platform, you can log in, click around, do, uh, try out all the things that I showed you inside the account and see if you like it. And if it doesn't work for you or you do feel like it's too expensive, which is totally okay to decide, then at that point, you just go ahead and reach out to WP Engine, they'll give you your money back and you can go on and move to another host that you feel like is best for you. We never want you to feel like at WP Venture that we're forcing you into one recommended WordPress host. Um, we can share our personal experiences. We, we wanna make sure that you make the decision 
as to what host is best for you and either your business or your websites. And it may, it may be that WP Engine isn't the best host for you, but that's why they have the 60 day money back guarantee so that you can try it out and see if you feel like it's also worth the extra money um, for a WP Engine plan. So use the link below, check out the pricing. The last thing I wanted to share was just a little bit of news, something that makes uh, WP Engine even more valuable moving forward. So the newest acquis acquisition that WP Engine made is of a company called Delicious, Delicious Brains, or this is a company owned by a guy named Brad Tunard. Delicious Brains owns a suite of plugins. So you can see all the logos for those plugins here, okay? So um, the Delicious Brains suite of plugins is uh, some of the plugins that you have absolutely heard of if you are part of the WordPress ecosystem, okay? Some of the big ones are ACF, which is Advanced Custom Fields. This is a hugely popular, if you know anything about WordPress, you've heard of ACF, as well as uh, BSR, which is another one, which is Better Search and Replace, okay? So Better Search and Replace, we use all the time. It searches the database and replaces URLs for you. So when we migrate sites and we migrate off of subdomains and we move them into a, another WordPress website or we launch a website onto the main top level domain, we always use Better Search and Replace to go through and find all the old mentions of the old URLs and replace them in the database with the new top level domain URL. Uh, Migrate DB Pro is another one that's included in this suite of plugins, which is great. ACF also has a pro version as well, okay? But WP Engine re recently acquired this suite of products. Now, the first thought I had when I heard this was, oh, awesome, you know, it sounds like maybe I, I went and checked and I said, are all of these plugins gonna be included for free with a WP Engine hosting plan? And unfortunately at this point, uh, the, the answer to that question is no. So you're not getting all of the Delicious Brain, Brains plugins for free with a WP Engine hosting plan. However, they will be integrated into the platform. So the free versions of ACF and BSR and all that kind of stuff will be much easier to integrate into your WP Engine site, which is great. Um, but the, the, this article, which we'll also link to down below in the description, goes through how most of the things with the Delicious Brains plugins are not changing, including pricing. So if you want premium, uh, the premium versions of any of these plugins, that, that will not change. Um, and it, unfortunately, you're not getting it for free with a WP Engine hosting account. However, the integration does allow for you to much easily, more easily use them. So it's kind of like Genesis and Studio Press. Uh, with Genesis Pro and everything, you don't get all that for free necessarily with a WP Engine hosting account. But what you do get is easier access. There's an integrated way that you can get those things by default into your, your uh, WordPress site using um, your backend WordPress admin because you have a WP Engine hosting plan. Okay, so you can go ahead and read this article. If you want an even more depth um, background of how that happened and to hear from Brad directly, how all that came to be and about the acquisition and what he sees as the future of those plugins, there's a great podcast that's linked in here, right here on the WP Press This podcast. You can see here, right here, the acquisition of ACF and other top plugins. And that's gonna be Brad talking about that whole transaction, everything he can say that's not under NDA about that transaction and how it came about with WP Engine. Okay, so just a reminder, um, use the link below. You can try out WP Engine and I hope this has been very helpful. If you don't mind, if this was helpful for you to kind of get a behind the scenes look about what's going on with WP Engine and what it looks like inside the account, please give this video a like. It would really help our channel. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions about WP Engine at all. We'd absolutely love to help. Um, and also subscribe to the channel using the, uh, the buttons down below. That will um, help us as we continue to release content, which I promise you is gonna start happening much faster moving forward. We would absolutely love for you to subscribe so that you can get a notification when new content is released on the channel moving forward. All right, thanks so much guys for watching this video. We'll catch you soon, cheers.